you know, it's interesting, Mark, is that you and I really uh, started our relationship when we were uh, two competitors, broadly speaking, in the consulting market. Our offerings were a little bit different, but they were close enough. And it was 2009. And we decided that our businesses would be stronger together. I think we had maybe would have thought about that in a strong economy, but in a weak economy, we said we actually needed the synergy from putting our cost bases together, recognizing that our demand was going to be lower. And then coming out of the recession, we actually had a stronger offering and a stronger business. And um, you know, our, our business has benefited from that since then. And so I, I think people should be looking at those types of opportunities. And I think they should be talking to their competitors and they should be talking to their customers. They should be looking at like businesses. And this is a time when many businesses decide to redefine the more likely you are to not make it through or not make it through in your current form, the less downside there is of thinking about ways to redefine. And, you know, I, I'll tell you from my own experience, uh, again, at the time, uh, we had never uh, acquired or merged with or combined with another a consulting business, but it was, it, it was, it was interesting times, and we sort of thought that was that was that was a thing to do, and I, and I think it turned out great for us. And now um, we do not feel vulnerable as a business because um, we've been able to model out that in a range of scenarios we're going to be fine, and and likely will not have to uh, reduce our consulting staff, which is which is comforting. But yet our business is different, and uh, we are considering different ways. Uh, to pivot and we may not pivot our whole business, but we may add new offerings because it is the time To think about it because the downside we are not full up with business And so we have a little bit of time to redefine so I would say when you're thinking about a new form for your business It doesn't have to be as simple as should I sell this business? Do I need to do I want to it could be should I redefine this business in whole or in part? and is there somebody I could combine with that maybe is going to have a tougher time making it through than me, uh, or uh, just in general, we're going to be stronger together uh, going through this. And then on the other side, we're going to be even stronger. Uh, you know, Mark, you and I have a, a, a mutual colleague who's thinking about his business model. Um, you know, he's in a space that's been affected. He's, he's considering you know, a couple of strategic options. One is to widen the portfolio of offerings that he's got in order to generate, you know, some revenue, not in the core business, certainly for now, perhaps longer term. He's also though thinking about an acquisition and he's, his risk tolerance is relatively high. He's thinking about a significant acquisition, taking out a, you know, a shop in his space, not, not named yet, just the idea where it, you know, the shop would be a, you know, a factor bigger than his, where you know, his, his kind of uh, position is that the principals are getting on in age and maybe don't have the stomach to ride this out or the, or the patients to ride this out. And so there's an opportunity there. I think that's a great example. And I think we will see that uh, in lots of places. And as I, we talked a little bit earlier about private equity funds uh, looking for deals and maybe not being able to go through structured processes, but you know, uh, ones where they have a relationship already, they can do it. But that, that sometimes applies in private equity. In the corporate world, it always applies because you typically know your competitors and you know the people, especially if they're local. And so it's, uh, you, you often have to do less diligence if you're buying a competitor uh, because you're in their space, you know their customers, you know their offering, and you've thought about buying them over time. And it just may be that uh, now they're a little bit more open to it. So I'd, I'd love to hear that, how that one plays out. 